Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be reorganizing Tekkenu, Obelisk of the Sun, designed by Daniel Tashini and David Turchi, and published by Board and Dice. Now this does include the Time of Seth expansion, all in the core box, fully sleeved and organized with no lid lift. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure that you do. It is the best way to help us grow. And for those of you already subscribed, thank you so much for your continuous support. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with organizing Tekenu. Now, first off, we lift off the lid here, and inside you're going to see that we have all sorts of different bags. First off, we have these clear plastic bags. These are the player colors. You simply toss all the player components to that person. These are going to have all of those specific colors. You'll have that for those four players. One, two, three, and four. We've got a silica gel packet in here for freshness. And then underneath, we have the bag of use sometimes. So this is our Vizier for a special two-player mode from Time of Seth, our original starting cards from the base game, as well as your solo tiles. You'll only use those if you're playing those specific modes, so they're in a separate bag here because you're not going to use them all the time. If you're looking for sleeves for this game, the sleeves here are the mini American size. We use the Game Genic sleeves, but you can use whatever type that are this size. We'll leave a link in the description below for any of the organization and sleeving material that you see here. So very nice. I like these sleeves a lot. Up next, you'll notice that we have three distinct bags. Now, you'll only actually get one of these bags in the core game. And the first one you're going to use is one for the different pillar tiles. So you have all of these tiles here that are your pillars. And this is just a random draw bag. You'll be pulling these out and putting them on the board three at a time. Super nice. Make sure those in a bag because that way you don't have to do any shuffling. The next bag here is going to have all of your dice for the game. And you're going to just throw in all of the different dice because the bag setup is different for the player counts. So just make sure that you have them all just in here. So another bag for the game. And the last bag here we have is going to be for your Time of Seth tiles. These are new blood pillar tiles. They replace the bonuses on that game board. So once again, another random draw pile. You'll draw one at a time and then repopulate it from this bag so you don't have to do any of that tedious setup. So these are the BGG microfiber bags. I really like these. They feel great and they're big enough for you to stick your whole hand in there. Feels really good. Like the way these are. Once again, link in the description below. Up next, we have our different wheels, as well as our Time of Seth board. This is going to cover that bottom action of the board, letting you build more statues to the people, as well as build statues over on the Seth action space, get to that extra resource. We have our replacement wheel, if you decide to play with the Seth expansion. You can keep the base one as well, in case you do decide to play without it. Up next, we have our obelisk. This is our painted version. Shout out to my friend Jeff, he did a great job with this. We've got our night side and our day side. Just fits nicely in that section. Up next, we have all of our cards. These are simply just put in a plastic bag. You'll have all of your different player cards. Once again, sleeve with those mini American sleeves. And lastly, you'll have those randomized action markers as well as hourglass markers in here too. So these are your every game setup pieces. So you'll take these out, shuffle the decks, and then put those tiles out on the board. So pretty straightforward here. You'll just kind of put a plastic bag here on the side and let them slide. Make sure they're not standing fully up because then it'll be a lot harder to close that box there. Up next, we use the tool bench organizers. These are from the Dollar Tree. You get them one for a dollar. I really like the way these work. I'll leave a link in the description below. And each of these is going to hold a set of resources. So you'll be able to put them on the different sides of the table. They've got all your ones, your fives, your blood tokens, gold, scribes, and faith, as well as cyclic job packets in here for freshness. Keep everything from warping. Super nice. I really like the way these work. You just place them on the table and you're ready to go. No additional bags or anything you have to take out. Just put them on the different sides. So we'll have one and two of those here. Underneath those components, we're going to have our player boards. So super nice. Once again, keeping them here to keep them nice and flat. That way you have that pressure on them and you can flip them as need be to make sure that they stay flat. I really like these boards. Underneath those player boards, we have the main game board. This is going to be just one gigantic board. Go figure. It's the main game board. Put it in the center of the table. Underneath that, to remain flat, we have our rule books, our base game rule book, as well as the Time of Seth rule book. Next, we have the Time of Seth board. This is going to be all of your new spaces, new places to put statues, and new tracks for your warriors and priests. Super nice. And underneath that, we have our player aids for the game. Now, honestly, we never use these. They're not very useful, I think. Uh, this side is probably the most useful, the turn structure, but I do think that they're pretty useless. Uh, we do use tarot size sleeves for these cards. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description below, but we almost never use these. That's why they're just on the bottom here, because honestly, you probably never will take them out and everything else will just got to go on top of them. Keeps them nice and flat and they don't get in the way, uh, but we honestly just never use them because, oh my gosh, yellow makes yellow. Go figure. It's pretty funny. And all this other information is actually just on the board. So that is that. And that's kind of our thoughts on the reference cards here. And that's everything in the box. Let's go ahead and pack it up. So we put all of those reference cards on the bottom here. We're going to put the Time of Seth board on top of that. 
our rule books on top of the Time of Seth board. We have our main game board on top of those rule books. We have all of our player boards on the left side here. We have our player components up next. We'll take our player cards as well as our obelisk and slide them on that right side there. We'll put all of our extra components next, as well as all of our player pieces, just kind of filling out these large empty areas. Our wheels and action board attachment. Our dice in this empty area here. These are a little bit thicker, so you want to use that empty space at the bottom. Our pillars. And lastly, our Seth pillar replacements. A silica gel packet for freshness. And that is organizing Tekenyu, Obelisk of the Sun, with the full expanded lineup. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. How do you organize your copy of Tekenyu? Is this one that you're excited to try with the expansion? How do you like the expansion? I'd love to hear what you think. But thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.